the MetLife program with bringing dance into the school, it was a real opportunity to um, use an art form that isn't traditionally thought of as a way to help young people learn. Wow. As a classroom teacher, using art uh, gives the kids a different way to express what they're learning. Um, not everyone is auditory, visual, kinesthetic. They need a different outlet, and so with the art, that gives them a different version. They can use their body. Once we get from the school what it is that they want us to teach and what educational component they want us to work on, then we go and do our own research. Like for this, this residency, which is geometry, we went and looked at what the Ohio standards for their grades of geometry are. Yeah, what else do you know about parallel? They always have two lines with them and they're always the same distance apart the whole way. As far as they go, they're always the same distance apart. In Art Sparks, she um, teaches us these songs and the songs that we learn help us to understand everything about the shape so that if we took a test on geometry, then um, we would know exactly how many degrees and how many shape, I mean sides and um, corners it has. When you're doing the dances, it's like you're trying to remember the steps and then you're also remembering the words to it which tells you how to describe each shape and what it is and what its name is for and how many degrees or sides and angles it has. So it kind of sticks all in your head. Like, they like mix it up, you know, you know like different songs, different times. So then when we're leaving, they do like this, like different goodbyes, like Jamaica goodbyes. And today we did Spanish goodbyes, right? Yeah, it was to Spain. I, um, I played the piano and I went Mr. Ron's shoulders. He said there are 16 measures during the song, so we count each beat. <clears throat> and then four beats or three beats, depending to the song, will make one measure. It depending, it, it, depending how many measures will help us identify the shapes. So you have to count by 16s every time. And sometimes if it stops like at five or like seven or six like that, it um it either be an isosceles triangle, an equilateral triangle, or a scalar triangle. I've seen some people who are the quietest in the class. And um during art sparks they dance. They jump around, and I, I actually think they're people instead of just robots. The thing that we do too at the end of most of our programs is we always end with a performance or a lecture demonstration. So it gives the kids a goal to work for at the end. Like when you're studying, you study for a test, and we're doing all these classes, and we're teaching them it to lead up to their performance. I just think it's really exciting to watch from the very first day when your student walks in to the last day on his performance, you know, like Jordan spoke about, um, to watch confidence just rise in all of them, to know that they know facts that they didn't know, educational facts that they didn't know the first day that they do know, the last day walking out. And um, I, think, I think one of my most favorite things is that usually when we're done, it's like they can't wait for us to come back. You know, they they enjoy the time that we're pouring into them. They know we talk about energy and excellence, but we bring that to them every time and that's what we, they, that's what we expect from them. And it's just so cool that by the end I think they they know that and they know that that's what it's is expected of them and I think the fact that we bring that every single time that they feel empowered, that they feel like they're important, that they feel like they're special, you know, and um, yeah, I think that's one of the most exciting things that when you get to the end of these, these residencies is you get to see, you know, their confidence and empowerment.